Who doesn't like a slider? Apparently, a lot of people do not like sliders, and if you go online and search articles on sliders, you will find there is a big group of people that are highly, highly negative towards sliders. One of my backgrounds is photography, and let me tell you, when you work on photography websites, you like sliders. You are displaying it as a slideshow. And with that said, it's very important that you also understand that sliders has a specific function. And that's why it can work for photography, but maybe for other sites, they do not work. But it doesn't matter which page builder or add-on or plugin you work with, people love sliders, contrary to all the negative publicity of sliders out there. And with Jet Elements, they also have a slider element. And let's have a look at what they do with their slider element. You can find it under Jet Elements. Go there, and then you scroll down all the way to this one called Slider. Let's drag it in and see what we can do. What I have in mind here is that we will be working with a gym, and we will be focusing on three classes that they advertise and that you can sign up for. So first and foremost, photographers often think of a slider as purely an image slideshow. Many of us, on the other hand, think of sliders as a call to action thing, something that you can add buttons there, people can click and press on it, and it can take you somewhere. And this slider add-on from Jet Elements is trying to do that. There is a lot of stuff that go into this. Let's go and delete these two slides. I like to start with only one slide because from there I can keep the settings for my one slide and just duplicate it to the others. The first thing we want to do is add an image. So for this yoga class that we have here, we are going to add this in here. And now you can see what is going on here. We have, if we go here on the left, we can add an icon. Let's do that so we can see where it goes. Uh, angle up. We can add the icon there, and the icon is going to be displaying there at the top. Then you've got the title. Let's call that Yoga. And then for subtitle, Stretching Your Mind. And then let's just leave the description with that lorem ipsum text over there. And then you have your button, and you can add two buttons. So currently it will say something like, let's say, Schedule or class times. And then if we want to add a second button, I'm just going to put a hash there now for placeholder. We can say pricing, oh, what shall we say, brochure. The brochure, yeah, you're right. You don't want people to see the pricing immediately. You want them to click on things and then they discover the pricing. Oh no, that's how much it costs. This is basically what I've done now. And this is how the slider works. Me, personally, I like a full page slider, full width. So that means we need to go into the section. I'm going to right click, choose Edit Section, and then go to Content with Full Width. It's going to look a little bit weird for a while. And then Stretch Section, I'm going to do that as well. And for the Columns Gap, I want to reduce that to No Gap. And the moment you do that, it looks just piaoliang, beautiful. Right, so let's go and add more, and then I'll show you a little bit what we can do with the height. Click again on our slider. Let's duplicate this. And on the yoga, let's change the image. We're going to change it. Pilates, Pilates. You know how embarrassed I was the first time I told people, what is this new thing called pilots? And people were thinking I was talking about airplane pilots. And then I said, no, like Pontius Pilate from the Bible. And then apparently it wasn't that guy either. It was Pilates. Right, so uh, let's change this to Pilates. I had to write it down phonetically so I could remember how to pronounce it long ago. Pilates, right. And then you see the thumbnail is added here at the bottom for this one. And at, I think at this moment it's set at around five seconds every time. And the reason it stopped transitioning there is because I hovered over it. There's a setting for that one as well. And let's add one more because where there's two, there's three. No, it's not a Sith Lord. It is just a slide. And we're going to add the kettlebell. Is it kettle? Let me just kettlebell. I have one at home. I use it as a doorstop. Right. Um, <laughs> kettle, kettlebell. 
wringing your muscles. Okay, something like that. And yes, there we go. And now you can see why I styled my first image, because maybe the brochure and the class times are going to be the same document that people will be linking to. So I don't want to do that every time I do one image. And then from there, I just copy that and everything stays the same. Let's go to the settings because this is where things get interesting. I'd recommend that when you're on this full page display, just leave it on large. Don't go. If you put it on full, it's going to use the dimensions of the images, which means you may have images. Some are higher than the other. So leave it on large. That's good. Navigation are these arrows. I like this one indicates whether the arrows will fade in only on hover. So I like to use this one so that when you come to the page, those arrows are not there. But once you hover over it, they appear. I like that. Use pagination and I would not use it. You have to choose. If I switch it on, it is the dot navigation. You will see it appear here at the bottom. Choose between dot navigation or the thumbnails, not both. That's overkill at its worst. So pagination, no, goodbye, gone. Autoplay, of course, your image is on autoplay and autoplay on hover. I will say pause. I like this one. Once you put your mouse over there, everything stops. I find it very annoying when I go to a website and especially I'm on a tablet and I have to use my fingers and the thing doesn't want to go back. So allow people to do that. Now, here is an interesting one. Display full screen button and it says yes. And you'll tell me where? is that full screen button. You cannot see it in the page builder view. So let's update it and then let's go preview it and you will see what awesomeness this full screen button is. So we're loading it here and when I hover over it, look up here. You see that little expansion button. Click on it. Whoa. Did you see what happened? I'll reduce it. Click on it again. Click on it again. Click on it again. I can do this the whole day long. This is very nice. Tell me of a photographer or somebody that is displaying art that will not like this feature. Oi, just great. Just remember, if you're going for this kind of full screen and I'm sitting here on a massive high, high definition screen here, I can see all the imperfections in this image. If that is what you're aiming for, make sure you are using high quality, high resolution photos. Otherwise, it will just spoil the entire thing. Let's go back to Elementor and that is what the what, display full screen button and you can uh, say yes or no if you want to do that. Indicates if the slides will be shuffled, don't care about that, looped, I don't care about that. Use fade effect. Again, you can use that for something like photographs with call of action. I would prefer a slide instead of that fading action. And then the last one here that's of importance is display thumbnails, yes or no and they're gone. Right. I like the thumbnails. The reason why I like the thumbnails is that it draws your attention to what is there. If it's just a slider, your eye may wander and you may not pay attention to the slider. But when you see these thumbnails, you actually get like a preview of what will come and you will say, hey, what is that one over there? And go click on it so you can view it. So that that is one of the reasons why I will keep the thumbnails if I'm working with something like a call to action. Then if you go to styling, you're going to get everything that is connected to styling, your color, your fonts, the spacing, and you can go through all of that. This is not much different than anything else that you will see in your page builder that you're not familiar with. Right, so this is a slider and I want to give you an alternative idea of a slider. Let's do one more over here. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to choose this one. That's a third to two thirds layout. I'm going to now drag my slider into this one. Let's go back and we type in slider and we grab the slider over here. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to delete these two, click on this one and choose my image. Let's go for the same ones. And what I'll do now is I'm going to delete all the text. Okay, it looks pretty horrendous at this moment, but I'll clear that up soon for you. All I want for this one is that it is a image slider that is playing alongside a heading that I will put on this side.
So we need to remove quite a th few things. Settings, I'm going to remove my navigation. I'm going to leave it on autoplay. And I'm going to say none. Autoplay on hover, I don't want it to stop. Full screen button, no, I'm going to remove that. Um, remove that, and I'm going to remove the thumbnail. And now I've set that up, I go back to my items. I could have done this actually earlier. Duplicate it and bring in the other images that I want to display. So you see, I don't have to go and delete everything now because I duplicated it. Duplicate, and then the last one for the kettlebell. Good. So oop, delete that one. What you can see what my plan is here is I want to add maybe a heading here on this side. Let me just search for a header. Oh, header, heading. I'm just going to drag it in, not going to type anything. And we can add some basic text, text editor, and then a button. Um, where am I? Sometimes I get completely lost. So this is a very nice way of having a call to action with a slider on the left. But you'll agree things are not looking as fresh as they should be. And this is where one more setting comes into play. Click on the slider and this time go to style. And now you will see your slider with percentage and slider height in pixels. You can choose that. So I'm going to reduce it to 300. Let's see if that is acceptable height. And it updates to give me this. And then from this side, I will click on edit column and I will put the content position in the middle. Right. Let's delete the one at the top so we can see this one in isolation. Right, and then you can go ahead and style that. This is a very nice way of using a slider where it's not too intrusive on your website and it can present many images while people are looking at other texts. It's an alternative. Great, I like the slider from Crocoblock here and Jet Elements. And you may be asking me, who is Crocoblock? Now, Crocoblock Block is a company that came out this year and they've taken, I would say, the add-ons for Elementor by storm. One of the reasons why they are so popular is because they release them. You know, it's just coming out all the time, almost weekly, and they've got a lot of stuff. We are going to be checking all of that here on Websites for Beginners. So follow the link below in the description. It's an affiliate link and go check what they've got to offer there. If you just look here at the plugins, you will see they've got these sets. You can call them sets, Jet Elements, Jet Menu, Jet Tabs, Blog, Reviews. We are only looking at Jet Elements at this one. If you click on this one and you go in 40 plus, easy to use widgets for all purposes. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. It's playtime, baby. So there's a lot to be done here and you can use the live demo if you are not sure about that. The pricing is the appealing part and you will tell me maybe JP, lifetime license 300, how can that be appealing? Because you can use it with Elementor free. Huh? Do you see it? If you use Elementor Pro, you have to pay the annual license every year. Every year. But if you use Elementor free and you couple it with CrocoBlock lifetime, you basically get everything you need. That's a good idea, right? Very good idea. And if you watch the other videos here on Websites for Beginners, you will see like their pop-up element from CrocoBlock, their dynamic content, WooCommerce. Wow, it's something to write home about. So go check out the website. Please follow the link below. And yes, that is the slider from CrocoBlock in Jet Elements.